The random jottings of Donald J. from Nelson in Pendle, starving girl boy boy hall haunting manifestation this young woman fought against her parents who had arranged her wedding, as punishment she was locked in the tower and forgotten about. She soon starved to death, but her ghost still protests. In the quiet countryside stood a magnificent estate known as Boyk Hall. The grand mansion exuded an air of elegance and charm, but beneath its opulent facade, lay a tragic tale that echoed through the ages. Many years ago, in a time when arranged marriages were the norm, a young girl named Eleanor found herself caught in the clutches of her parents' wishes. They had chosen a wealthy suitor for her, a man she did not love nor wish to marry. Determined to forge her own path, Eleanor defied her parents' desires and rebelled against the arranged union. Enraged by her disobedience, Eleanor's parents locked her away in the highest tower of Boyk Hall, a place meant to confine her until she submitted to their will. But the spirited young girl refused to surrender her freedom, even in the face of such isolation. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months as Eleanor languished in her lonely prison. Denied sustenance and contact with the outside world, she slowly succumbed to the cruelty of her circumstances. Starvation gnawed at her fragile frame weakening her spirit and stealing away her final breath. In the darkness of the tower, Eleanor met her untimely end, her dreams and aspirations forever silenced. However, death could not quell the fiery determination that burned within her soul. Eleanor's spirit lingered within the walls of Boyk Hall, a specter consumed by righteous anger and unfulfilled desires. From the confines of the tower, her ethereal presence materialized, manifesting as a haunting figure of ethereal beauty, the ghostly girl, with her tattered gown and hollow eyes, roamed the halls of the mansion, her mournful cries echoing through the silent nights. Her protests were not merely the desperate pleas of a lost soul but a defiant rebellion against the injustice that had befallen her. Eleanor's ethereal form became a symbol of resistance a reminder of the consequences of denying one's individuality. Whispers of the starved girl's presence spread among the locals, and Boyk Hall became known as a place touched by the supernatural. People spoke in hushed tones about the ghostly apparition that haunted the upper floors, forever yearning for release and justice. Over time, the story of Eleanor's tragic fate reached the ears of a kind-hearted historian named Samuel. Intrigued by the tales, he devoted himself to unraveling the mystery that shrouded Boyk Hall. Samuel delved into archives and spoke with the oldest residents in the village, piecing together the fragments of the haunting narrative. Driven by empathy and a sense of duty, Samuel decided to help Eleanor find peace. Armed with knowledge and a sincere desire to right the wrongs of the past, he climbed the winding staircase of Boyk Hall's tower, where Eleanor's ethereal figure awaited him. As Samuel stood before her, he felt the weight of her sorrow, the intensity of her pain. He spoke softly, assuring her that her story would not be forgotten, that he would be her voice in a world that had silenced her. Eleanor's spectre listened, her eyes filled with a mix of sadness and hope. With each passing day, Samuel tirelessly researched and shared Eleanor's tale, urging the world to acknowledge the horrors inflicted upon her. News of her unjust fate spread far and wide igniting a spark of outrage within society's collective conscience. Inspired by Samuel's efforts, people rallied for change. The story of the starving girl became a rallying cry for individual autonomy, challenging societal norms and oppressive traditions. Eleanor's spirit, no longer bound by the confines of Boyk Hall, became a symbol of resilience and the fight for personal freedom. And so, the spirit of Eleanor, the starving girl, found solace in knowing that her tragic tale had not been in vain. Her ghostly presence continued to roam the halls of Boyk Hall, no longer protesting her own unjust fate, but serving as a reminder that the human spirit cannot be easily silenced. The echoes of her story lingered in the hearts of those who fought for a world where individual choices were cherished and honored, a legacy that would endure long after her ghost had found its peace. By Donald J.